Thank you. Atlas Genius, welcome back to Portland. Thank you. How are you? Very well. How We're, are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for good. asking. Yeah. Where's the rest of the band? They could, they couldn't wake up in time. Uh, they're out um, just shopping or something. <laughs> like, that's not true. No, that's not true. So you're at the Wonder Ballroom tonight. Looking forward to the show. Yes. And you were also in town last night. Yes. W what did you do to kill the time last night? Uh, we went to see this new band. It's just up and coming. Vampire Weekend. Vampire Weekend yeah. are very very good. How was the show? The show was great. Yeah. Yes. We yeah, we enjoyed it. We actually uh, a friend of ours was is the guitar tech, so we um, we hung out backstage for a bit. It was good. Did you go out after the show? Get some donuts? Uh, no, we did that last time we were here. <laughs> we went to where did we go last night? Roxy, uh -huh. Roxy late night diner. Uh huh. Yeah. We got healthy last night. Adelaide, South Australia is your hometown. Yes. Uh, I was trying to look up rock bands that have come from there, and if I'm not mistaken, you're the biggest rock band to come out of there. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's correct. That's debatable. That's debatable, because uh, I was looking up some bands I didn't recognize the names. Tell me if you know these bands. Bit by Bats. Uh, I know of them. Yes. Okay. Test Eagles. Yes, I do. <laughs> Growing up, the Test Eagles were uh, this punk band. It's a wonderful name. Uh, they were right. a punk band that was around about you know ten, twenty years ago, whatever it was. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So long story short, yes, you are the biggest band to come out of. Adam. I don't know. Test Eagles were pretty big. Okay. <laughs> Look there's, them up. Are, there's a, I'm a big golf dork. There's some big golfers to come out of, uh, out of Adelaide. Did you know that? Yeah. Who, uh, remind me again. <laughs> Jeff Ogilvie is one of them. That's true. And then the current Masters champion, Adam Scott's f from your hometown. Is he? Yeah. He's got a green jacket and everything. I'm learning things about my hometown right now. But cricket, yeah, but probably golf is pr probably kind of big there. But cricket's the, the sport of choice. Yeah, I, I, cricket's the sport I really enjoy watching. You guys would find it boring, but... Um, <laughs> Games go for five days. It's actually true. I'm not even joking. It's a five-day uh, game. Are there any cricket fans here? Exactly. No cricket fans in Portland. <laughs> I, I love watching it, but I don't get it at all. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of like baseball, but slower. Right. Yeah. And it's Agonizing. Just, yeah. It's very civilized, though. If you want a civilized game where you know you can sit down and you can walk away for three hours, come back, and you haven't missed anything, yeah. it's that kind of sport. So your brother is the drummer, correct? Correct. Yes. So I have an older brother. He's three years older than me, yeah. Dustin. All we did was fight yeah. uh, when we came up. So you guys probably started playing music together when you were young, young kids. Yeah, we yeah? did. Yeah, he was um, he was really young. Um, so um, it's funny. He he played gigs when he was. Um, 14 in pubs he wasn't actually supposed to be in the venues but we we didn't never told anybody and uh yeah that's a secret for you did you guys have a, a band when you were like eight nine ten or before that yeah there's always you know high school bands that kind of thing um that everybody needs to go through <laughs> right yeah so what the way that i understand the way things have really exploded for you about the last year and a half is is you wrote trojans yeah. uh literally in your garage right uh yeah i mean it was it was a garage turned into into a studio. A studio. Yeah. So you write that, you turn it into a station in Australia, correct? No, actually, what we did was close. We put it on on this thing called the interweb. Ah. Yeah. And um and we put it on a few websites like SoundCloud and things like that. Um and then there was a there's a station in Australia called Triple J and they have this website for unsigned bands so you can just put your music up and there's I mean there's probably twenty thousand songs on there so we we put it up there just for the sake of being thorough, and um, didn't expect anybody to ever hear it. And then a blog in New York called Neon Gold found the song, blogged about it, and uh, and then it, from there it kind of exploded. It took off, and it was before you you even had an album. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So we, I mean, it was at that point we were um, we were just just writing songs for our own amusement, really. So then you check the e the email inbox, and you've got all these labels going, "Hey, we yeah. want to wine you and dine you." It was ridiculous. I mean, in the in two months, I think it was, we had thirty record companies uh, email us. Did you have an arsenal of songs, or did you just have like we, the, we the had EP? songs that we were working on? I mean, it was really such an early stage for us, in that we had a bunch of songs we were working on, and Trojans was just the first one that we that we finished. We thought, "Yeah, the song's okay. We'll put it out." <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's I mean that's what happened. We had no idea, did we? <laughs> yeah. So then you travel the globe and you become rock stars, pretty much. Uh, well, we, tr we travel the globe and we play music. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. 
So you're up to Sasquatch this weekend. Safe travels. Have fun up there. Thank and you. And play a couple more for us, yeah? Yes, we'll do that. All right, deal. Atlas Genius, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers for coming down.